excuse me. Welcome back to Big Board. So I'm, I'm looking at and playing, or have just finished, uh, Scenario 2 from Blood and Fury, the World of War 85 module. Uh, splitting the scene is the name of the scenario, and really all I've been doing is maybe posting a few photographs, and uh, and I'm right, trying to write a little bit of narrative, which we all know kind of it's kind of half-assed. It's it's not great. It's not bad, but it's not great. Certainly not great. It may not even be good, uh, but but I enjoy doing it, and it's fun. It uh, this, the games sometimes speak to you, and it's great to be able to sort of capture that theme. So what are we looking at? This was a nine-turn scenario. It's a recon scenario where the Soviets would uh, come in on the map, uh, identifying the gap between two particular cores, and then obviously the follow-on forces would come through and Bob's your uncle and they race to the Rhine and everybody wins. But of course, uh, the US or the Allies, uh, NATO, etc., had uh, no uh, noticed that and saw that there was a battalion uh, coming to uh, do the recon business. And so they sent a, uh, let's call it a squadron uh, of the, the 9th, 12th Royal Lancers. So basically a uh, two historic formations that got jammed together as a result of British cost cutting. But, you know, that's what the Brits do, right? <clears throat> Over a series of turns, uh, the, uh, the uh, Soviets got one unit off. They need to get three off in any condition. And uh, that doesn't bode well for the uh, for the Soviets in this particular instance. The the while it was very thin force, their uh, FVs uh, 107s and 102s. There's 102 all the way down here. He's got the he's got the punching power on the map uh, for the Allies. Uh, sorry, NATO uh, 1444. If you know what that means, range of 14, four dice rolling four or better will do some nasty bits to you. But thin skinned, right? So he kind of hung back, got out of the way, did take a hit actually. But because he's got the HQ unit on him, he's good to go, right? So uh, he uh, he gets still gets those two extra dice. In the eighth turn, the key to the game was going to be this uh, disruption here where, uh, in a uh, panic, the scimitars here, uh, these guys close assaulted <laughs> the T-80s, who were reduced, uh, uh, really just looking to get a disruption on them, right? Uh, they got the disruption, didn't take any losses, so I guess technically these guys would have had to retreat one hex and these guys would have advanced, but, you know, they probably had and probably, uh, I don't know. It, it doesn't really matter, fucking matter anyway, where, where they would have gone. Uh, so they took a loss. These guys took no no step losses, no no damage. On that eighth turn, when their, their uh, card was played in the prior turn, they rolled an eight for their... Um, recovery for their uh, recovery of disruption so they're still disrupted so they can't move all they can do is opportunity fire and as you can see either whether they're here or here puts them in a precarious situation and then potentially could be assaulted again but i thought you know what it, it is game over right as far as i'm concerned but let's see what happens right uh, so we went to the ninth and final turn and uh did the cards battlefield friction uh these guys got to activate so they could have uh assaulted and then we got two end operations so no turn for the uh for the soviets meaning no movement therefore not getting the, bo the boys off the board and uh no whimsy so um i gotta say super tight scenario really liked it it's, it's fun to have both forces uh well it's kind of a meeting engagement basically but they're all recon units, right? So uh, command is not an issue. Well, except for the tanks. The tanks are... Uh, uh, the tanks, well, they might be recon units, actually. Uh, what's the red triangle again? Let me just double check. Yeah, they're recon as well. So the T-80s are recons, which means that uh, I may have made a mistake. Uh, in one of the turns, I had a role for command for them, thinking they were not recon uh, elements, but indeed they are didn't affect the gameplay because I don't believe they got a, an activation that turn anyway and we had to uh, pull one of the end of turn cards out so whew, we dodged a bullet in that one all right thought I'd give you a quick little update lots of fun uh, really enjoying the module so far 
I was waiting on some uh, rules clarifications for, uh, for another game I'm playing, and I thought, let's see if I could just slap down a World War scenario, World of War 85, and uh, play it at literally as I walk by and have some fun. And uh, it all panned out great and uh, a very tight scenario. So whoever designed this one, good job. All right, all the best. Uh, roll dice. Have a great week.